here in this video we are going to be talking about the DAX function called all now let me take you directly to the power bi and help you understand this okay so here we are in the power bi we have this table so let's say i want to create a duplicate copy of this particular table which is called supermart right how can i do that right so uh, in one of my previous video we we saw using the filter criteria with which we were able to subset a table based on certain criteria right so here i'm just going to start with a very basic use of all by dupli for duplicating a table and then you see how we are going to combine both of these two together and come up with a very effective way right so let me just create another table i'm going to say new table and for that what i would do is i will just say let's say my table with all I'm just trying to demonstrate that this table is created using the function all and here I just need to provide the function called all and into this you can put table name or column name or column name column name etc so here let's say I want to create the duplicate exact duplicate of supermart table right so all that I need to do is say supermart table and over here just close the bracket and hit enter as soon as you do that you're gonna get this table created my table with all right now let's consider that you don't want to keep all the columns from supermart uh, table you want to keep specific for example invoice id product line or uh, invoice id product line and the total bill and payment right so that you can also do right so for that what you need to do is let's say supermart and from here i need invoice id oops sorry 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 i just made a mistake this is very bad okay let me make it little bigger so that it could be easy for you to see and understand that okay and let's say supermart and what i require is invoice id comma supermart product line comma supermart and payment and the last one which i'm going to keep is supermart product line after that i'm going to keep total bill as well and this is done right when i close the bracket and hit enter i'm going to get this particular table with you know only four columns you see how effective it is now let's think about the other example where i wanted to where i had created a copy of supermart with only uh, with only you know payment method called cash for example here this one here i had created a subset of that using filter of function but that had a criteria that in this table we should have only cash and when we did this you see we had the we had to keep all of the column now what if i want to create a subset of this table called supermart but i want to keep with two condition right i want to create a subset of this table with two criteria one is in the table i need to keep invoice id product line payment and bill these four columns only and i need to keep only those transaction where the payment was made through credit card how can we do that so for that we're going to combine both of these two now we just understood using all function we can choose a specific column which we want to keep in our table and using filter criteria we can choose the criteria using filter function we can apply a criteria basis on which we want to subset the table right so i'm going to combine both of these two together this filter function i will put to uh, you know subset the table and all function i will choose to you know specify the columns of the table right so i'm going to create a new table first of all and i will in which i would subset the supermart okay so let's say let's let me call it you know subset subset table okay and over here first of all i'm going to create a filter in the filter i need to provide table right so i can put supermart but instead of providing supermart whole table i'm going to provide a specific column now you have just learned how can we provide this specific column because filter function itself does not provide us the option to choose a specific column so for that purpose we need to combine it with all so here i'm going to say all and from supermart all the columns that i need for example invoice id then what i need is payment 
then what I need is product line okay and then the next thing or maybe you can say the last option which I require is total bill last option not last option but the last column okay so here we got all the columns which we needed and the table criteria for the filter function is completed now I just need to put comma then I need to put the filter expression to subset the table so filter expression you remember we wanted to keep only those transactions where the payment was made using credit card so let's say just just say supermart and payment equals to credit card credit card let's just close this and see if we are going to get any output out of it yeah we got it you see here we got this particular table created only with four columns and only those transactions which has we uh, which were made using the credit card you see how interesting is it isn't it so this is how come by combining all function and filter together you can subset a table with the specific column and on certain criteria which you are specifically looking for okay so this is how you can use this all function it's not just the limitation or uh, this is not the only use for all function there in the next video what I will do is first I'll explain you about calculate and into that I would show you how you can combine all function to get very interesting output or create the filter and all those things right so until then happy learning wish you very all the best